Let's take a closer look at the VMX 450 gyro. This is a brand new bike, and this is a lightly used wheel. Now, what we'll look at, one of the first things we'll want to look at, is the wear and tear on the sprocket. As you look closely, you'll see a few little marks on the sprocket, and this is all typical. What you don't want to see are sharp teeth and uh, any sign of damage due to rocks and debris and whatnot. As an example, this is a very worn front sprocket. As you can see, the teeth are worn in a pattern uh, related to the stress. I mean, they're, they're basically worn out completely, and this, this is why you'd have uh, chain tension issues. first thing we do once we look inside the wheel is just take a look and see if there's any dust or debris or any problems or any signs of problems and typically what you might see is just a little bit of dust um, if there's been a big problem then you're going to probably see pieces and parts so that's something you don't want to find upon first inspection probably the first thing you'll notice is the pinion gear on the flywheel this is the flywheel inside is the clutched system this is the heart and soul of the VMX 450's rear wheel. As we can see here, this is the first generation rear wheel of the VMX 450. This has the, the original plastic gears, and in this particular wheel they're in good shape. Everything looks to be pretty clean, and there isn't any sign of damage. However, we have upgraded the plastic gears to steel gears, and what we'll do right now is take this apart, update this particular wheel, and put it back together so you can see how it goes. What you're looking for mainly in this case is that the thread lock, there's thread lock on your gears, uh, assembly bolts. You want to make sure there aren't any loose bolts. And in general, you want to make sure that the pins and the aluminum parts and everything are not bent or damaged in any way. So a quick visual inspection should reveal any problems. A particular thing to note here is that we use a small spacer or a shim to make sure that the bearing and the gear does not rub on the gear support. So you just want to make sure that that is there, it's in good shape and ready to go. One of the tips when assembling the rear wheels gear support is to put thread lock not on the thread but actually in the threaded hole and this is done so that you reduce the chance of having the thread lock interfere with the bearing and bind it up. The brand new steel gears will have a little, a lot tighter tolerance than the plastic ones. So as long as they spin freely, smoothly, uh, that's all we're looking for here. They will wear in because it's steel on steel contact. One of the most important gears inside the VMX's gyro system is the sun gear. This gear is made of brass and is found in the center of the flywheel. And what we're looking for here is the wear and tear on the teeth. We want to make sure they're not very sharp and deformed. And the wonderful thing about this gear is it's designed to be two gears in one. If the side that makes contact with the other gears is heavily worn, simply flip it over and you have a brand new gear. This will extend the life and the use of your VMX that much further. So what we're looking for here is the wear, the contact patch or the contact surface area of the, of the flywheel. Uh, that is basically this step surface in here. What happens is as the flywheel spins up to high RPM, it expands. As it expands, it, these, the surface or the edge of the flywheel's clutch will engage the flywheel housing. That's what speeds up the flywheel to give us a tremendous RPM and stability in the VMX. What we're looking for is any kind of dirt, um, not necessarily dirt, but basically powder or dust or grease. Uh, we definitely don't want to see a lot of grease in here. And what can happen is that the ball bearings, because they're spinning at such high RPM, they will actually uh, fling their grease out. And so what we want to do for the first few runs as these ball bearings are 
basically getting rid of their factory assembly grease is we just want to wipe that stuff away and uh, that otherwise it'll contribute to the clutch slipping against the flywheel and that'll diminish the performance of the of the flywheel system so we want to look at the bearings make sure they're nice and free everything looks clean we're happy with this there really isn't much uh, much dirt or any kind of debris inside this one uh, this wheel has seen some light wear and tear so it's actually looking very good for a few packs um, everything looks nice and clean to me. Next thing we want to do is we want to look at the clutch itself. Now the clutch is a very simple system. All it has are two pads, a spool, two screws, two springs. The most important thing about this flywheel to know is that you want to make sure that the two screws are assembled in the same manner so that the distance between them is equal. We want this to open up parallel. One thing to check is to make sure that the gap between the two edges is consistent with what is in the manual. Um, we specify a 2.7 millimeter gap as a production standard and in practice when you go to drive the VMX the adjustment range is from two and a half millimeters to three millimeters. Now that doesn't sound like a whole lot but what that does give you is the ability to adjust when this clutch will stall. Stalling means the clutch closes and allows the flywheel to keep spinning because the purpose of this clutch is to actually spin up the flywheel you don't want it to speed up and slow down you want it to speed up engage the flywheel and then release it so that the flywheel can provide the stability not the clutch the clutch will continue to turn with the wheel and the ratio that's established in the wheel is eight to one so it'll continue to just spin but you want the flywheel to spin on its own if the adjustment on the flywheel clutch is too big greater than three millimeters the clutch will always be engaged and it'll diminish the performance of the clutch's system and stability. We're at 2.7. So now it's 2.7 on both sides basically, give or take a couple, a tenth or two. And uh, what you want to make sure is that your, the screws are not loose, so I, I can't really move this unless I force it. And check the other side. This feels good, everything looks good, measures good. So this one's good to go and uh, to be uh, put back into the wheel. Now the two sides of the flywheel, one of them you can feel that the flywheel is fairly smooth. The other side has a little bit of a lip on it. On the side with the lip, what you'll want to do is when you assemble the flywheel, uh, the clutch back on, you want this, the, the side that has the flats, this side again uh, engages the, the pinion gear, you want this side to be on the side with the step because that's the recess that we use, uh, the offset that we use for the, for the gear clearance against the flywheel. So that's what you want. At two and a half millimeters, the clutch is a little uh, tighter, so that means that it will take more RPM, more force to stall the clutch. Um, when the clutch is set to three millimeters, the springs are under less tension and so the, the clutch will stay open longer. Why this is important is because it gives you the ability to adjust the clutch to your driving conditions. So for example, if you're gonna be driving the VMX on a very fast track or uh, open setting, then um, generally you're probably gonna be on the brakes hard because you're gonna be accelerating hard for a long period of time. So it'd probably be a good idea to run the clutch gap closer to two and a half millimeters. This way when you hit the brakes at high speeds, the drivetrain inside the, the rear wheel is not shocked uh, with the excessive brake force from going from a high speed to a instantly a slower speed. So you want the clutch to stall immediately and allow the flywheel to spin at that high RPM. So adjusting it to two and a half millimeters for high speed use is a good idea. That's the last screw. So here it is, assembled, everything spins freely. Everything looks good, nice and tight, there it is.